Hey, and welcome back, guys. Um, just got you come in as I'm, I'm just creating an account. And this is how I like to have my Gmail creator all set up. I like to have it set up and ready to go so that I can literally just open it up, click a button, click two buttons, actually. Um, the one over here and then the one over there, and that's it. And, and let it go out and do its thing automatically. And then I can minimize this and come back in a couple of minutes and I would have had an account or two or three or however many I would have set up, right? So um, the best practice, the best way that I found is you remember the first video that I showed you exactly how to um, how to import all of those user, all of the uh, project information with the uh, username, information, date of birth, all that kind of stuff from fake name generator. So you could literally just import an unlimited amount of profiles, like a thousand, and have a th you can have like a thousand sitting here. And all you need to do is literally just come in, tick that one, tick one, tick two, tick five, tick ten, however many you want to create, let them get created, and then you just export them or sync them with Browsio, and then you just go and auto log in using Browsio. And then you don't have to worry about any of the, you know, username, password, you know, site, um, the Gmail accounts um, getting deleted or any issues with them because you're using the same browser, the same cookies, the same cache. But as long as you're using the same proxies, I mean, you don't have to use um, Browsio. It's just that when you, you know, when you start to manage more than one, um, more than one Gmail account, more than one Facebook account, more than one Twitter account, and you're trying to interact and get real with these accounts it's really really hard to do that with um you know without having the ability to just you know open up on demand any project any profile in any cash cookies and so on so there you go it's created that email address and now it's going to turn green it's going to save the cash as soon as it saves the cash it turns green so now that it's green the cash is saved so what i can do now is i can sync that with browsio and a and here's Browsio and I've already got loads of these that I need to organize these are all live accounts that I'm just syncing and here's all of the Gmail accounts that I've you know just opened up just through testing in in April just the last literally this is the last couple of days right so I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these Gmails just yet but they're definitely gonna go to good use guys all right, so to sync that again to Browsio is, again, you just sync to Browsio, click yes, Abe Borges, and it's not there now. What you need to do is you need to come and refresh, and there it is, Abe Borges 1990. And because we've created this one already, we don't need it in there anymore, and we've either exported it or synced it. So we don't need that in there anymore, so we can just delete it. So now delete that selected one, and now we're good to go. We've got all these profiles ready to go. They're not created, so they're not sitting there like, you know, collecting dust, and um, there's no chance of these accounts getting deactivated because they haven't been activated yet. These are, just look at them as like dormant accounts. Just load up as many as you want and, you know, just come in, open up one, 10, 20, however many you need, and then export them, sync them, whatever you're doing, and then go ahead and delete them and then move on to the next batch. And when you're done, you just add a new one. I mean, that's how I use it. Um, it tends to be how I also use Browsio. For those of you that picked it up, I know a lot of you have picked it up, and I tend to do it in the same way as I tend to let them sit in here. And then what I'll do is I'll either organize them into folders if they get to be too unruly and then I'll come back to them because these will be nice aged accounts in a couple of months. Um, I've got these active Gmails and then Facebook accounts that you know have been sat in here for, for months and months and months and months and months. And these active Facebook accounts that have just sat in there for months and months and months and months and months and months. And then what I like to do is I just put them into their own themed folders after after I've you know customized them, had the VA customize them, um, you know, bodybuilding niche, vaping niche, health niche, whatever it might be. And then they get added in, you know, you just drag and drop them into any of the folders and um, just 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 basically um, keep them there as a as a sort of 
canvas, a blank canvas of emails and personas and pro profiles that you can constantly just add to any of these folders as and when you need them. So that's how I like to do them. So I like to have a whole arsenal of extra email accounts and extra Gmail accounts and extra Facebook accounts just, just sort of sitting there knowing that I have on demand an unlimited amount of accounts. And then when these run out, I have over here on demand an unlimited amount of accounts that I can just go out and create. Okay, so that's how I use them. That's how I suggest you use them. And again, if you've got a better ways of using it and you've you know worked out some other streamlined methods, we'd love to hear about that as well. So hopefully um, you're getting active with the Gmail creator and you're in the group and you're getting involved in the conversation. Now, I did say I've got something special for you at the end of this, and I do. Um, it's the end of my little training series on how to use the Gmail creator. Hopefully you would have come into the group and you've already seen what an active community there is. We've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of Browsio users, hundreds, thousands of Gmail creator users. People are just, you know, really involved in that community and people are there to help one another. And because you've taken the time to go through all of this training with me, um, I'd like to give you a special offer just for my, you know, just for my friends over here, you guys that have taken the Gmail creator. And I'm going to give you a 15% code, a 15% coupon code that when you go to the checkout and purchase Browsio, you get an extra 15% off of that. And the coupon code for that, I'll have that um, in the actual post as well. Um, but I might not because I don't want people to just get it without reading or, or without without going through the video. And it's at the end for a reason. I wanted you to really watch all of the other stuff. It's very important for you. It was all about streamlining the, the, the Gmail creator. And then again, now that you've got all of these hundreds and hundreds of accounts, you really do need a way to organize them and manage them and get them to actually work for you. Okay, so again, 50% coupon code for you. If you go ahead and grab the Gmail creator over the next 24 hours, the coupon code will be live for 24 hours or until we have sold 25 of them. So you get a 15% discount and it's live for 24 hours starting now. All right, guys, hopefully we'll see you in the members area.